We are out here today in the beautiful deserts of Southeast Oregon. Behind me here is the Owyhee Mountains. Over the next couple days, we're gonna be testing out this electric e-bike. It's a long distance e-bike by a company called Eohora. They claim it'll do 100 miles on throttle only, and we're gonna test that out this weekend. We got a full load of gear. We're gonna be camping overnight. Our route's gonna take us through some amazing canyons, along some desert creeks, and uh, maybe even to a hot springs if the battery hold out. So we'll see how it does. Let's go. We are about ready to head down into this canyon. This is Sucker Creek, and it's a beautiful spot, one of those desert gems that you see. We've traveled, let's see if you guys can see this. I don't know if you can or not. Oh yeah, 27 miles, and our battery is still at four out of four bars. So we're doing pretty good. This is where we're gonna be camping for the night, so we're gonna go down and see if we can't find a cool spot.
Now we're talking. Hey, it is so nice to be out here. It's a mid-September evening, so it's starting to cool off a little bit, but boy, the solitude and the scenery is just amazing. Nothing like solo camping. It's really the best. Get out, no one around. Just you and your thoughts. Get a chance to talk to God. Really clear your head. Man, it's nice to get out. It's been too long. Need to do this more often. Oh, ha! Well, this e-bike did pretty good today. Um, it handled pretty well. I was actually surprised. I was a little bit worried how it would handle off-road, but once we got uh, off the pavement and onto the onto the dirt, it actually seemed to handle a little better. I was really impressed. It did really well, and uh, the battery seems to be holding up. I really hope we can make it to those hot springs tomorrow. Uh, it's a place I've never been, and uh, I heard it's really cool. So I'm hoping that we can get there and not have to pedal our way the rest of the way home. Because I tell you, this bike's kind of heavy. And uh, I definitely wouldn't want to pedal it all the way home. It really needs that motor to kick you along. But we'll see how it does. I'm going to eat some dinner. And then I'll do you a walk through around the bike. Well, here's a quick walk around of the bike. This is a long distance electric bike manufactured by a company called Eohora. I bought this off of Amazon. 
The model is a Juliet, not to be mistaken for a girl's bike. Um, they also have a Romeo model that's a little bigger, but the seat doesn't adjust and uh, doesn't have the step through. This is the one that uh, looked like it would fit the bill for me for uh, hunting and adventuring and, and uh, getting out and seeing some country. It's got a 60 amp hour high capacity battery on it. Yeah, they claim it'll do 100 miles on throttle only. We're testing that out this weekend. Um, seats adjustable, full suspension. The suspension just seems to be okay for, uh, for the bike. You power it up. Oh, here's all your controls over here. You can see today we've done a total of 31.6 miles. Um, it has five levels of pedal assist. We've been running on three and four today, and that keeps me going. I've been cruising at 20 miles an hour, but this thing will do 30, and it might do more than that if you get in and make some adjustments to the uh, programming. But uh, it is cruising down the dirt roads at between 20 and 30 today really well. Um, it's got hydraulic disc brakes, and those seem to work really good. I've been really impressed with those. We'll see how this headlight does. Maybe take it for a little night cruise, but uh, it's got these disc brakes. They are hy hydraulic and man, this thing, it stops pretty well. Um, it's rated at 330 pounds, I believe. And I, I weigh just under 200 and then uh, my gear was probably 30 or 40 pounds. And uh, so we're not hitting the capacity, but I feel like we're loaded pretty good. And that's gonna put a lot of stress on that battery. So we'll see how far we make it um, this weekend. But overall, you know, seems to be a great bike. The pedal assist kicks in on one pedal. Um, you start pedaling and that thing just jumps right in and, and gets, you, gets you going. It's a thousand watt motor um, with a 1200 watt peak. And it is a hub motor. So it's back here in the rear tire. Um, the, the ads on Amazon claim it'll do a 35 to 40% grade. I noticed when I hit hills this weekend that I had to do some pedaling, but, uh, I think maybe in the, in the lowest gear, it will, uh, climb a decent hill, but I think you got to pedal. I don't know. It was, uh, bogging down pretty good on the hills, but overall, man, I cruised between 20 and 30 all the way in here today. And uh, really made some good time, I thought, for, for a bicycle. Um, it, it seemed to do really well. But it's got a nice big headlight, so I think I can travel at, at night if I needed to. The tires seem to be holding up okay. A little worried about that. There is a ton of puncture weeds out here. Um, you, in fact, you can see right here in front of it. Puncture weed. Puncture weed. Um, so we'll hopefully not have to deal with the flat tire tomorrow um, but so far so good um, I'm really liking it and uh, it's it's uh, impressed me thus far so seems to be doing pretty good it actually when we got going a little over 30 on the pavement the front end seemed to be just a little bit wobbly to me um, but as soon as I hit the dirt I mean of course you're both hands on the on the handlebars all the time but it, it seemed to just stabilize and and roll right down the road. So anyway, we'll push it a little bit tomorrow and uh, see how far we can make it on this battery. But my hope is that we can do the 100 miles because my goal with this bike was to have a bike that I could do a little bit of adventuring on and uh, also do a little hunting on. The thing's quiet. That's the really nice thing is, man, you hear the road noise from the tires more than you hear anything else. It just cruises down the road, quiet as can be. So I think it'll be a great hunting bike as well. So anyway, we'll see how it does tomorrow. Man, the sun's going down right now, but I can't get over this canyon that I'm in. Hopefully you can see some of this, but man, it is just amazing. Rock walls that shoot up hundreds of feet. Stone pillars. This is out in the middle of the desert. This is eastern Oregon, out in the Owyhee Mountains. You know, a lot of people crave the mountains. 
and being up in the woods and in the trees, and I do too, I really love it as well. But there is something about the treasures of the desert that there's just no denying. You look at what you got going out here, and it is just beautiful. You got to go out and look for it, though. It ain't just going to be on the side of the road. Got to take that time, go find those treasures. That desert doesn't give them up easily. Oh, we got water, we got a creek, we got just beauty all around. cool this morning. Well, I had a pretty good night's sleep last night. Went to bed with the sound of the crick and the howling of the coyotes. The stars came out last night and man, they were beautiful. I wish I knew how to film and take pictures of the stars. The Milky Way was right across here. And it was just amazing. Woke up a little chilly this morning, but it's shaping up to be a pretty nice day. We're going to go have some fun and see some pretty places. Well, we broke camp and things are all packed up and ready to go. We're gonna hit the trail and see how this thing does. see how it goes here this morning I'll see if I can take you down you can see this here I've been going about 20 minutes we've done a whole whopping I don't know five miles and uh, we've lost two bars from what we had last night so that's not looking too good we'll see what happens when it gets down to one bar I'm gonna have to turn around because that means I'll still probably be pedaling the rest of the way home Anyways, beautiful country out here. Hopefully I've got some decent shots for you. It sure has been nice. It's a really nice morning.
made it out here to the Leslie Gold's turnoff. We got about eight miles to get down into Leslie Gold's. We've done about 42 right now. So that'll put it right at, right at halfway of our 100 mile goal. And uh, we're gonna head on down there. It's just a beautiful canyon. I hope we can make it all the way there. As soon as I get down to one bar, I, I'm gonna turn around and head the other direction. But Leslie Gulch is just a, a beautiful canyon, big rock formations, and, and uh, it's pretty amazing. So I hope we get to see that today. Uh, a minute ago, I turned the uh, uh, bike off and back on again and it jumped to three bars so i'm hoping that it's just maybe the cool weather and we got plenty of battery left but we'll we'll see let's go check out leslie gulch This is where I'm sitting enjoying my lunch. Check out this beauty that's around me. Man, I hope you can see this. Well, we made it down in here to Leslie Gulch. I hope you guys enjoyed the shots that we got on the way down in here. It really is tough for a camera to show or in words to explain the, the size and the beauty, everything that's around me right now. It really does feel like you're out in the Canyonlands of Utah, not the, not the deserts of, of Southeast Oregon. Definitely a beautiful drive in. We're sitting at about 53 miles on this thing. We got two bars left on the battery, but I pretty much coasted all the way in here. And so we got quite a haul to get back out and that's gonna eat up a lot of that battery. So we're gonna call it. We're gonna start heading back the other direction. Well, we just hit no bars. We're coming up on 63 miles. Things are still working, but there's nothing left showing on the battery. That is all she wrote. Well, here we are on the side of the road. We made it uh, 64 miles before the battery gave out. Or it quit pushing me down the road. Luckily, I got a ride on its way. I kind of expected to come up short, so had a plan. And let this be a lesson to you. Know the capabilities of your vehicle before you head out into the unknown, into the desert or into the woods. A lot of people get themselves in trouble because they either run out of gas or <laughs> run out of battery. 
or uh, don't pre don't prepare for a for the unknown. But uh, always have a backup plan. Always have somebody knowing where you're at. Pack a little extra water, a little extra food, so that you can stay a little longer if you have to. But uh, anyway, it's been a good trip. It's I feel like capability wise, I mean, 64 miles with the weight that I carried and the terrain that I put it through. Really, I think it did pretty good, all in all. Nowhere near the 100 miles that it claims it'll do, but I'm sure that's optimal conditions, right? That's like a solar panel. You'll never get the wattage of a solar panel that it says. But we put it through a good test. I think 64 miles is pretty good. I take that up hunting and I'm base camping. That'll get me to a lot of different places. Um, or, you know, if I camp and want to take it out for a few jaunts, hiking trails, I'd like to see how it does on some single track. Maybe we'll do some of that. But anyway, it's been a good trip. Bike performed all right. We'll do some more tests on it. Thanks for being out here with me today.